Welcome to Vagabond Coach, your number one source for everything travel, adventure, and lifestyle. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Who's ready for a trip? I know I am. This short video is to be sure you're prepared. Some people ask, how much is a passport? Should I get a passport book or a passport card? What's the difference? Do I need both? How long is the process? My trip is next month. I need a passport right now. I need it now! I need it now! Don't care how I want it now! First and foremost, the most important difference between U.S. passport books and passport cards is that passports are valid for international air, land, and sea travel. Passport cards, however, are only acceptable for land and sea border crossings between the United States, Canada, Mexico, Bermuda, and the Caribbean. That means no international air travel. No Australia or China, no Tanzania, no Italy. <laughs> No Spain and no Peru. So, why is having a passport a wise and worthy investment? I'll tell you right now. Currently less than half of US citizens have a valid passport. Even if you don't have immediate plans to travel abroad, an up-to-date passport is a valuable document for reasons that go beyond gaining entry to far off lands. Number one is proof of citizenship. If you lose your driver's license or state ID, your passport serves as a legal photo ID for any situation that might require one, besides proving your legal driving status should you get pulled over on a driving violation. And then there's two, peace of mind. If there's an emergency and a family member or friend needs your help, it's a quarter after one, I'm all alone and I need you now. You know that you already have the documentation you need to board a plane wherever they are. Number three, new job paperwork. If you're hired for a new job, you need to complete employment verification forms and produce documentation. A passport is one of the best documents for establishing your identity and employment eligibility. Now, number four, going to Canada. As you've already learned earlier, if you want to travel between the United States and Mexico or Canada, you need a passport. There is an exception. If you reside in a state that issues enhanced driver's licenses, your license is acceptable as documentation for travel to and from those neighboring countries. Be sure to check with your local DMV. Number five, traveling for work. Although you may be planning a leisure trip out of the United States, if you are up for a job promotion that includes travel, a valid passport in your possession is a point in your favor. Lastly, and the best answer, the freedom. You'll have access to countries and territories without needing a visa. That itself is enough reason to get a passport. Moving right along, here are some comparisons between the passport book and the passport card. You will pay $145 for a passport book versus $65 for a passport card. Now if you're under the age of 16, it's $115 for the passport book versus $50 for the passport card. The passport book is about 5 by 3 and a half inches when the passport card is pretty much the same size as a credit card. They're both valid for 10 years for adults and 5 years for children. And again, I can't stress this enough. The main difference between the passport book is that it's valid for all international travels, while the passport card is only acceptable for land and sea border crossings. One thing many people don't know is that you have an option between a standard and larger passport book, which is for frequent travels for the same price. Since it doesn't cost extra, I don't see a reason you wouldn't get the larger passport book. You just need to check the large book box on your application. It'll also save you from having to renew your passport early because you ran out of pages. But, with that being said, are passport stamps a thing of the past? Passport stamps have always been a way to show off your travels to friends and family, a time-honored souvenir of the time abroad, a routine thing for travelers, and just one more step before a traveler can start an adventure in a new country. But with many countries skipping the practice and opting for alternative methods to track travelers, the future of foreign travels means less passport stamps and more efficient traveling practices. Instead, airports may use landing slips for arrivals and biometric technology for self-serving kiosks. 
even facial scanning in place of the booklets. This saves travelers room in their passport and time in lines at the airport. If you collect the stamps and your passport isn't stamped, you can ask the officers. More than likely, they'll stamp it for you as a courtesy. Don't delay anymore. Apply today for your passport at travel.state.gov. The processing times are usually six to eight weeks. It definitely can be expedited sooner. Well, there you have it. Now you know the difference. So when you go to get your passport, you know what's more suitable for you. Thanks so much for watching and leaving a comment below. And as always, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. See you next time.